What do you think is going to happen on April the 8th? Oh, I don't know. Probably going to get up and have breakfast and go on about my day. And oh, look, it got a little bit dark. And then I'm going to do some work and whatever and eat some supper and go to bed. Probably later on. That's what I think is going to happen on April the 8th. <laughs> um, wanted to make a real quick video here. We just got back from being at the office today. And uh, <laughs> all this hysteria, all this insanity, you know, of... Oh, April the 8th, this could be the rapture. Oh, there's a sign and, and it's making Hebrew letters. And the, the, the way the solar eclipse, the path of it, if you go back a few years, it makes a Hebrew letter. letter. It's, it's Jesus' way of saying at the end has started or something else or, oh, I don't know. Um, stupid, <laughs> okay, absolutely stupid. You know, back September 23rd, 2023, last year, I made a video saying that there will be no rapture. There's nothing significant here. Don't get, don't be deceived. And people, oh, brother, Brian, you don't know. It could be the time. It could be the time that we get to go. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Um, there are no dates given in scripture. None. At all. There's no indication at all of when the rapture is going to happen or the second coming or anything else that there's this special date and the and the moons have to you know the blood moons have to line up and with the year 1948 and and all this other stuff i mean 1948 yeah the rebirth of israel that kind of sets things okay we're getting close here but um that generation won't pass till all things be fulfilled yeah that's the only date that there is okay so this nonsense of april the 8th and all this other stuff uh please don't fall for that okay I'm going to share a few other thoughts here, but we've had some busy times here. I'll show you here like this, if I'm not panning too much. This big, huge thing of snow behind me here. Um, it's about as tall as I am, probably. Uh, no, actually taller. Um, you can kind of see right there, if I hold the camera up like this, it's a big wall of snow. and. Um, just around me here is where it came from. Uh, this is not the whole driveway that we did or whatever. You know, this is just a little area that I did around here. It goes the whole way. This wall of snow goes over to here and over up into there, and over and around. Uh, got two feet of snow, 24 inches of snow here a few days ago. It took us eight hours to do the lane. So that was a lot of work. Um, had to go down to the office and do that the next day. Uh, crazy, you know. About a month worth of snow, normal snowfall here in Maine, about a month worth of snow in, in 24 hours. So that was a big snowfall, um, definitely a big one. Uh, so yeah, two days of my week going to cleaning out driveways. Well, it wasn't so bad down at the office, that was easier, but uh, just trying to catch up with things and whatever. But was a lot of good exercise. I, because I couldn't even use my my plow truck. It wasn't strong enough to plow the snow. I got it stuck really bad So I ended up having to use a snowblower um, So That takes a while But anyhow back to the point at, uh, of discussion here this whole issue of this April 8th thing um, Now there's a number of camps within the end times prophecy movement eschatology, you know and uh, the one camp is the imminence doctrine thing. And they say there are no signs that precede the catching up of the body of Christ. There are no signs at all. Well, that's not true. Um, you see, there are multiple places in Scripture, which I'll be reading here, that talk about the conditions of the end times, the last days. You can't make that back in 1500 or 1200 or whatever. The doctrine of imminence is that Jesus could have come at any time, in the last 2,000 years and everything would have been fine. Well, that's very illogical because if Jesus would have come back in, say, 1,000 A.D., uh, what did people do for the next 1,000 plus years waiting for the, you know, time of Jacob's trouble to get started and then everything else? Uh, no, doctrine of imminence, I don't agree with that at all. Um, I never really taught it, you know, per se, as uh, that Jesus could have come at any time. I, I never really believed that. But I would say the thing of, you know, Jesus could come back at any moment. Well, technically now, because we are in the end times, that's true. But that's not true to say that he could have come back at any moment at any time in the past. Okay, so um, there are no signs that, that uh, are there before the catching up of the body of Christ. Ain't wrong. Not true. 
And then you have the other camp of the wingnut false prophets, and they come out and they say that there's all kinds of signs and there's Virgo the Virgin and Leo the Lion in the sky and it's lining up and this year it lines up in the blood moons and, and the, we're on the 100th anniversary of, uh, you know, this or that or, well, it wouldn't be the 100th anniversary of 1948 yet, not yet. That'd be a ways away into the future. But, uh, and they try to make this whole thing about look up to the stars and look, look at the moon and look at all these other things. And uh, that's false as well. That is also not true. Right? And you have to understand the Bible. Again, I was watching a guy today talking about the April the 8th thing. He said, I'm not really that sharp on the Bible. Well, then you're easier to deceive. False prophets love people that really don't understand the scriptures. All right. Well, let me read to you here. Um, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Have perilous times come? Not really. I mean, yeah, there's, it's perilous in some areas and whatever, but it's, it's not really that bad. I mean, you go back to what was going on in World War II over in Europe and things, that was pretty perilous. You go to, you know, different times and things, and back during the Great Depression and all these other, it, there's been times that it's been a lot worse than right now. So to say, well, we're in perilous times right now, not really that bad, okay? I think it's going to get a whole lot worse, right? But it goes down through, you know, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, Covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, you know. It goes down through. You have 1 Timothy chapter 4. You have all these different places. You know, uh, the thing about the commanding to abstain from meats in the last days and, and things and having their conscience seared with a hot iron. There's a lot of prophecies in the end times. And there's not one verse in the Pauline epistles, not one in the entire thing that says anything at all about blood moons or stars, signs in the stars and the heavens and whatever else that we're supposed to look for. That tells us when Jesus is signing the earth, what he's saying is he's coming back or something. It's nonsense. Nonsense. Um, I will promise you, okay? Um, I mean, the Lord could make something happen, whatever. But I'm, I will tell you right now that uh, the April 8th thing is going to come and it's going to go and they might try to stage something or whatever else, uh, some kind of weird thing, you know, uh, some uh, false flag type of deal or something like that. You never know with these idiots. But some kind of supernatural thing, there's no scripture. There's no scripture there. Um, and uh, you know, put it down in the comments that you're mad at me and old oh, brother Brian, you lack the faith to believe that April 8th is going to be the rapture and whatever. Well, okay, if I do, is that going to stop the rapture? You know, brother Brian has to give his consent and then it will happen or something. <laughs> you know, no, <laughs> the Lord doesn't care. Uh, I don't have to give my consent to make it happen. <sighs> you people. But uh, we'll talk on April the 9th. And uh, we'll look and we'll say, yeah, okay, didn't mount to anything. Um, don't get yourself into this false prophecy stuff. The guys like Robert Breaker, Faker Breaker, false prophet, he'd have been stoned a couple times over, you know, stoned to death, I'm saying, not stoned on drugs. I don't know if he's into that or not, but um, the guy had been, you know, killed a couple times over by the saints in the Old Testament because they were supposed to kill false prophets when they blow it. Because you're basically speaking lies in the name of the Lord. And Faker Breaker, what he does is he says, well, I didn't say it was going to happen. I said it could happen. <laughs> okay. Uh, insanity. So I uh, just wanted to put this video out. I'll be, you know, when we go to the office tomorrow, I'll upload this. But um, don't fall for this stuff, okay? I mean, read the New Testament. Read the scriptures. Search the scriptures. Look and see. Is there anything in there that says about signs in the, in the you know, stars and all this other stuff for the ca catching up of the body of Christ. It's in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, all right? The trumpet of God, the trump of God, excuse me, the, you know, is going to sound. We're going to hear our voice. John hears a voice, as it were, a trumpet talking with me, which said, come up hither and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the spirit. He goes up. All right, and he's up there before the Antichrist shows up. It's not that hard to figure this stuff out, people. Uh, it's really not. So, um, that's going to be it. And uh, we'll see you in upcoming videos. 
Thank you for watching. Don't be deceived by this false uh, date setting stuff based on stars and all the other things. There's no date setting in the New Testament. It's not there. Don't be deceived.